Hello, it's Randy. This week I'd like to talk about medical cannabis. I have been using medical cannabis since the fall of 2016. In the last four and a half years, medical cannabis has changed my life for the better, helping me to eliminate the opioids and muscle relaxants along with all the other prescribed medications that I was taking to help with chronic pain, PTSD, depression, and other medical issues associated with my service-connected injury from the assault. The prescribed medications were making me comfortably numb, both mentally and physically. Eliminating these medications and switching to medical cannabis allowed me to become fully present in my life, giving me the ability to live a happier, healthier, fuller, almost pain and symptom free life within my physical, psychological and emotional limitations. I started out smoking medical cannabis at first, using 7 to 12 grams a day. As of April 9, 2021, I have quit smoking medical cannabis and started using it in capsule form and have been using it that way since. I am currently taking a 250 milligram capsule DID that takes approximately 40 hours to create, allowing it to be absorbed through the digestive system, which in my opinion, ingestion is the best way to use medical cannabis. There is no waste of the medication like you have with smoking it. For those who have questions and are considering medical cannabis, I highly recommend this book, The Medical Marijuana Guide, Cannabis and Your Health by Patricia C. Fry, MD, published in 2018. I wish I would have come across this book when it was first published. I also wish I had a doctor like her when I first started using medical cannabis. It might not have taken this long for me to feel better, allowing me to live a happier, healthier life. This book has a wealth of knowledge that is beneficial to patients, medical providers, and our lawmakers regarding medical cannabis, and its use for treating many different medical conditions. Hopefully soon, our government will remove cannabis from the list of Schedule One controlled substances, and the VA will start providing it to our veterans instead of the opioids and numerous other prescribed medications used to help chronic pain, PTSD, depression, etc. Medical cannabis has been proven to safely and successfully treat these conditions along with a myriad of other medical and psychological conditions. Using medical cannabis will also help reduce the number of accidental deaths due to opioid overdose that are experienced by our veterans, their families, and the general population. If you have any questions, comments, or experiences you would like to share, please email me at randy.nz at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you have a great day.